Welcome back to another episode of the Hardcore Group Iron Man featuring Alfie, Alcan, Devious, and myself, Zulu. And right here in just a couple of things, we're going to get ourselves 78 Herblore. If you guys missed last episode, last episode we got a bunch of construction levels. Uh, we got ourselves starting on the Slayer grind, and we also caught a ton of Karambwans. And in this episode, I think the plan is to continue Slayer. Uh, our goal right now with Herblore is at least 82, so I can do the Karamja Elite. Although I don't think I have nearly that much banked right now. And we're just going to basically continue the Slayer grind, try to stack up a bunch of herb seeds so that when we do take a break from Slayer, we can uh, at least keep the herb lore grind going and the farming grind going uh, while doing other skills. And if you guys haven't caught up in the series yet, there's an entire playlist below in the description, as well as links to all the rest of my team's channels and my stream link. Uh, I'm live about four to five times a week at the moment, and I'm finally in my new apartment, so should be making a lot of progress. With all that said, let's get into the video. While I'm trying to clear up some bank space, I just realized that I made 100 super anti-poisons last night because I killed those unicows. I'm gonna throw like 60 of these into the uh, shared. I'm sure that uh, the team would appreciate having some anti-poisons when they need them. Also saw you won GG, how was that experience? Oh, 82 strength, nice. 79 Slayer after that too. 187K till I can get neck real tasks, let's go. Oh, we got 70 million XP and I missed it. Man, I thought I wouldn't miss it. I said I wouldn't miss it, but we're close enough. 70 million XP. And right here, 79 defense. So I'm getting some stuff done around the apartment, but I just happened to be uh, really close to a fishing level. And so I figured I'd come back to my computer for that. And there it is, 79 fishing. Um, I want to finish everything around my apartment today. You know, I got most of it done, but there's like all the stuff with hanging stuff on the walls and all that stuff. So we're gonna be doing that today for a little bit. Uh, probably gonna AFK Karambwans or something else. So I've tried everything I can. Uh, unfortunately, the salve amulet that I imbued at uh, at Soul Wars uh, can't be used for the RD Elite Diary. So I'm gonna get back 250 of these tokens real quick. I'm gonna go to Edgeville, go to Soul Wars, and maybe we'll get the pet. Who knows? We got a few crates to open out of that. Got eight crates here. Uh, probably not gonna get the pet, but imagine I do. And also we're getting all of this really good loot. 18,000 pure essence. That's all gonna go to Alfie. Looks like we didn't get a pet out of that. Uh, we got one Renar seed. We got a tooth half key, or, or sorry, a full key. Bunch of runes. Um, still a pretty nice return out of that. And uh, obviously those 18,000 pure essence. Alfie's gonna want those because uh, I don't need all these for soul runes. So I guess we got something back out of it, but it would have been nice to know that a little bit beforehand. And right here should be 88 magic. It looks nice. Never get to see those messages when I'm barraging, but uh, that's pretty cool. I'm also getting kind of low on chaos runes. I don't know if I need to buy more or if maybe Alfie has a bunch, um, but the other people, I mean, uh, other people, Devious and Alkin probably want them for their own uh, bursting. So if Alfie has any, that's cool. If not, I guess I could just buy the packs. I just got the last task, another Bloodveld task that'll get me 80 Slayer, which means I'm gonna start being able to get neck reels, which is sweet. Also, because this is going to push me to uh, 80 Slayer, I'm actually going to use the Expeditious Bracelets. I'm going to try to remember to unextend uh, Bloodvelds. I was mostly extending them so that Slayer would be quicker on the way to 80. But at 80, I don't really want to do that many Bloodvelds. Uh, I'm going to get enough Magic XP from the um, whatever it's called spell, the Offering Spells. Uh, so doing Bloodvelds unextended with Expeditious is probably the way to go. There's a big moment right here. I think uh, this one has like one HP left. Come on, die. Oh my God, it has like one HP, literally. Three HP. 80 Slayer. That means I can get a neck real task, man. Oh, watch it take me to like 85 Slayer to even get one. I'm just really excited about that though. That's sweet. Uh, they are gonna provide me money, prayer XP, and uh, a lot of seeds for Herblore. It's like the best task for an Iron Man, at least for hardcores. It's so, so, so good, I can't wait. And before I forget to do it, let's go ahead and unextend Bloodvelds. Here we go. Uh, you will not get your points back. Yes, I do not want those extended anymore. Give me neck reels. Wyverns, I don't wanna do that. Cancel. And Greater Demons will do it. I actually do have a few totems, so I figure I may as well uh, go knock out a couple of Skatizo kills real quick and just see uh, what we get. Oh, 10 KC, Skatizo Veteran, and our first kill of the set of five kills. What do we get ourselves? Oh, I got the pet too. <laughs> oh my God, on 10 KC, that's so funny. Let's go. 10 KC, another pet for the group Iron Man. 
Oh, that's so cool looking. Oh man. I mean, I know how it looks. I've had I have it on the main, but oh, it's, it's cool to have. Let's go. <laughs> Did not expect to get a pet. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so so sweet. Where'd it go? There it is. There's my Skodos pet. And uh, I don't know why I went to Camelot. I was supposed to go to Corrend, but oh man, that's sweet. I'm gonna actually pick it up and put it in the bank for now. I don't want to misclick it while I'm killing Skatizo. But let's go, man. That's our third pet on the account and first uh, PVM pet. Oh, let's go. Dude, that's so sick. I didn't even notice the three rune plate legs I got too. That's money. Another kill, some ancient shard. One, one ancient shard, not some, one single one. But uh, okay. 12 KC and this boss is so awkward. I think it takes longer than Bandos does to like actually show the loot in the ground. It's like so awkward to be like, oh, 12 KC. And then like 10 seconds later, you actually get the drop. You know, like I just, I just, it irks me. It, it grinds my gears. This kill started off so well, and then the eyes just keep coming back and coming back and coming back and coming back. I've, I've got a spec back. I hit a 40 spec and then like a 30 spec, and they just keep coming back. They don't stop coming, and they don't stop coming. Number 13, and what do we get ourselves? We get ourselves some Snapdragons. Let's go. Final kill, number 14, and we get. Four ancient shards. That's kind of a lot. That's good. That's 1300 arc light charges. Uh, my plan is to use them at Necreals. Uh, I know I can do them at other demons, but I figure Necreals are the best because they're just the best task. Right here, 91 hit points. Love skill go up. And I think that also just got me 104 combat. Very nice. I think um, is it might, it's 92 or 94, something like that, where I get an extra sip of uh, or extra HP out of brews and anglers. I don't remember exactly. I might wait till I'm that HP level, whatever the next one is, uh, before I do Song of the Elves. It might have even been 91, uh, but basically when I do Song of the Elves, I want to have obviously a decent uh, restore from Bruise. There's 93 farming, another contract done. I uh, don't mind doing like you or magic contracts. I've started to cancel anything that's not a palm for the fruit. And if the Redwood takes too long, I've also not been doing that, but I've been leaving the Redwood up for now. Uh, I think I'm taking a different approach. So Dragon Fruit right there, actually great example. Uh, I'm gonna go for anything easier real quick. And uh, yes, please. And now I got another U-Tree back to back, interesting. Um, also curious how many contracts I've done. Probably not anywhere close to what I should be doing. Oh wait, no, not that. Talk to, uh, how many contracts have I done? 310, that should be so much higher, man. That should be like 500, but whatever. I'm actually rendering out the RuneLight video for all the RuneLight plugins, um, the 20 useful plugins for 2022. And uh, I just noticed I was super close. 80 fishing right there. Really cool. I don't think I'm going to do any infernal eels. Um, it depends on how much I need to AFK, but just going to keep doing Karam bonds while I finish editing this up. And uh, look at that, man. Just after 80 Slayer as well, uh, getting those 80 stats up. Honestly, I need to be picking up the pace, though. I am letting my team down. Oh, also 1880 total. I may have gone a little overboard here, but I just made uh, like 600 or 700 house tabs. And I'm gonna throw in 400 for uh, Devious and uh, Alkin. I don't think Alfie's gonna need them. Also, Alkin put in the Imbued Heart for me, which is super nice because I need that for uh, the Worms task. The first task, I'm actually gonna end up using the Offering spells. I'm super excited for that. Also, since Alkin got me uh, an extra pair of Boots of Brimstone because he got another Drake's Claw, I actually can just completely get rid of these Boots of Stone, which is one more inventory, or sorry, bank space. Uh, we love that, we love that a lot. Thank you, Alkin. So this is just a rough first inventory to test out these worms, but man, I'm so excited to use the Sinister Offering. I also, I thought it was 93. The fact that it's 92 means I guess I don't even need the heart. I just need to bring a couple magic potions. Uh, so I can probably put the heart back at some point. Uh, but I think Alkin also has 88 or 89 magic. So it's not too big of a deal. Uh, anyways, I'm just excited to try out this spell, man. All right, let's use this heart up. Get ourselves to 97 magic and cast the Sinister Offering, man. Oh, 630 XP there. Uh, I'm not sure how much that was prayer. I think they get 50 XP each, so probably was at 450 of it. We'll go ahead and test it again uh, once we kill a couple more of these. And uh, I can reset my XP so I know exactly how much XP I get. You shred these things with a lance, man. And now that we have the spell, it just they're actually a good task. I'm using the Expeditious Bracelet for now, uh, just because I really want to get to a Necreal task. Uh, and also I don't think I'll be able to slay that much today. So rather not spend my whole time here, but I reset my XP and I got 630 there. Uh, 450 that was prayer. I was right about that. So you get 180 XP just for casting the spell. And then you get another 450 for using three worm bones there. Uh, cause they give 50 XP each 
and the spell gives three times the XP, plus you can use up to three bones at a time. Uh, that's where the 450 comes from. Oh man, I finally get to use the Wrath Roots, man. The fruits of my labor. Another thing is like, doesn't this spell just look so cool? I'm just like, wah. I don't know, man. I think it's like it's like a faster vengeance. It looks so cool. I'm just, I'm just happy to start getting prey XP, man. Oh, and I did a uh, bank once. I grabbed some magic pots. I think in the downtime when I don't have the imbued heart, uh, depending on my inventory, I can maybe just drink one magic potion to cast on like three bones. If uh, the inventory is kind of full and we run out below 92, for example. I love how just with a stroke of good luck with a couple of upgrades, the lance and then the spell, this task goes from being like pretty bad to do to like an actually good task. Like I'm debating just going and grabbing slaughter bracelets, but I've already made my decision for this specific task. Uh, but next time I get it, I think I'm going to slaughter bracelet it. I mean, you're getting like 20 something K prayer and slayer per hour while doing these. And that's only at these stats, man. Like I'm going to have much higher stats later on and oh, just, it's so good. Huh. Our first dragon throne axes. I have no idea if we're ever going to need those, but uh, that's pretty sweet. They don't alk for very much, do they? Uh, 450 each. I mean, it's 100 alks if I want to alk them, but I might honestly just hold on to them because that's that's kind of sweet. <laughs> Dude, I am just this this task. I'm just smiling the whole way through. I don't know if you could hear it with my voice, but oh, man, I've probably spent like a minute at least maybe longer in this entire video. Just just at this task, like come almost cooming over the uh, the spell. I do not even know how long our first Necreal task is going to be in terms of like a video, like how long I'm just going to rant on about how much I love this spell. I only have two worm bones here, but I did bank some earlier. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and smash out those real quick uh, while I have the spell boosted. I got some wyvern bones here. Uh, may as well grab a little bit of XP out of that. Every five seconds you can cast it. So I may as well do that on my way to uh, my next task, which I'm going to go to the obviously. What am I even saying? Karamja gloves on the way to getting my next task. I'm going to basically grab out bones here because why the hell not? Uh, so we'll grab out these and we'll grab out these and we'll just go ahead and go. Got 16 seconds left on this, but I brought a magic pot. Dude, I'm just excited, man. I can start getting prey XP while slaying. Oh, just the, again, just the, I guess, uh, reaping the, the fruits of my labor. You know, it's like, obviously the rest of my team has been doing it. Um, but now that I actually get to do it, it's so nice. Let's see here. I'm pretty sure it's 226 XP per bone or something, um, or 216. So 648 XP for three Wyvern bones, man. Oh, I just, I love it so much. Necreal, yes, my first Necreal task, man. Oh, I'm so excited. I think I have a birdhouse run and a herb run to do, but oh, today is a good day, man. We got Skatizo pet. I got my rune light video out. I get to use this spell. Oh. And something that's so nice is that I have this altar here. So basically, if I need to go do a herb and bird run, I can switch spellbooks real quick, and I just have to use runes to teleport back to change my spellbook again. Oh man, today is such a good day. I'm at like that point where I'm just, I'm feeling great, man. It's only noon. I'm on top of the world today. You know, my biggest regret here is that I didn't extend Necreals before getting the task, but uh, next, please, I will happily extend that task. Uh, but my current task is... Uh, 131. It could have been like 200 something, man. I don't care though. I am just excited to kill some neck reels. Oh man, my first neck reel on this account. I'm just so excited. If you're wondering why reason that we're doing them in the tower, it's because uh, they basically give different drops and the drops they give in the tower are so much better for irons. Uh, they give tons of seeds, tons of alkables, and uh, it's just all around better to do them here than it is to burst them. There's a chance I might burst them very late on, uh, but for now, mealing them is the best. And also the reason I'm not using the arc light right now is because I'm super close to a level here. Once I get the level, I'm probably going to switch to the arc light. Uh, but I figured I would get the um, attack and defense level. I can also uh, almost make the ferocious gloves. And I forgot to switch spell books. So I guess that's a reason to bank. There we go. 81 attack. Going to go to defensive mode here. Get my defense level. And uh, then I'll grab the arc light. Before we make these gloves as well, I'm going to go ahead and buy a second pair of Barrow's gloves. Uh, the first pair is obviously going to go to Ferocious Gloves. The second pair is actually going to be for ranged because I won't have anything for ranged if I uh, don't have the Barrow's Gloves because Ferocious are obviously for melee. Uh, so let's grab out our Hydra Leather. And I'm pretty sure you can make it before you get the level. If you can't, then I guess I'm just wasting a trip here. Uh, but Hydra Leather, Barrow's Gloves. Let's grab one set of those and let's go to Lithgren. I think you need a hammer. I'm pretty sure you need a hammer. I messed up. 
pretty pretty positive unit hammer and i'm also just doing uh, a couple of these uh demonic offering ashes for um from the uh, scatizo kills pretty sure i use this here make them untradeable yes sir give me those ferocious gloves eee, you don't even oh my god i just wasted i thought she needed to bring barrows gloves all right i don't have level yet for that i thought she needed to bring but i just wasted 130k they only out for like 78 i'm pretty sure 60 they only out for 60. <laughs> Uh, it's fine it's not that much money it's completely fine something i'm definitely gonna have to get soon is the seed box it only takes about three and a half hours i'm pretty sure uh so that won't be that bad to get but i probably should get it because neck reels are a task where you do get a bunch of alkables and a bunch of seeds uh and obviously because i'm on the spell book i can't just alk those items uh so inventory is going to be something i'm gonna need to manage and there we go 80 defense man which means i can wear the ferocious gloves not gonna wear them right now because it's the last hit of the fight but I can start doing the glove switching uh, when I don't feel like being lazy. So if I'm prey flicking like this and, you know, not being lazy about it, I can go ahead and start doing the glove switches uh, just like this. Basically, all you do is you just equip it for the last hit or as basically as you do the last hit, if you're good with it. Um, and you can wear the ferocious gloves for like most of the fight. Let's start getting some strength XP, man, with this arc light. Let's go. I'm just excited, man. I got this spell. I got the arc light. I'm at neck reels. I got the ferocious gloves. Oh, we are just... We're just gaming. Oh, that spell, man. That spell is just it's so good. Look at that, dude. In one drop, I get two seeds. Oh, I just, I love neck reels so much. They're just so good. Oh, another set of two seeds. I am just cooming. If you're curious why I bring Karambwans, it's for the superior. Oh my God, another double seed. Oh, oh. Look at that rune 2H, man. That's money. I've literally only killed 30 neck reels and I have enough seeds for a herb run. Like this is just, how could anybody not like this task if you're an iron? Oh, just so, so, so good, man. I really need to get a seed box too. Like this is, I'm kind of uh, already disliking this, uh, this juggling I'm having to do right now. I'm basically wasting prayers so I can open up more inventory. If I had a seed box, this would only be one inventory space, all this stuff here. Um, it's, it's becoming a, a little bit of a problem. Uh... My internet's fine. So did the world just DC? I guess the world did just DC. That was scary. This guy didn't DC. Why did I DC? That was suspicious. This world like never DCs. So I don't know what that was. Um, Cause the guy here, this other guy didn't DC. Uh, I don't, but my internet's completely fine. Uh, I'm a little worried about that. Uh, but I'm still gonna keep doing this task. I'm just very worried about getting a superior and then like, I don't know, like dying to that. That scares me, man. Our first Necri arc. Now I have one food, so I'm not gonna, uh, I'm gonna take it pretty, pretty carefully here. Uh, those spawned, so we run, 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 run away. Hopefully they've lost aggro on me, have they? Let's see. They don't seem like they have. Oh, now they have. Here we go. Oh, another set of them. This is why you bring a couple of food. I'm going to bank after this kill, actually, honestly. I don't want to risk anything uh, dangerous happening to me. And our first Necri arc, or Necri, yeah, that's what it's called, right? I think so. And we get some Chaos runes. Cool. Hey, there's my first rune boots in my name. Very nice. I reset my XP after the superior and everything and uh, made sure that I had no ashes in the inventory and started a kill on Necreals. It looks like I'm getting close to 40k prayer per hour while doing this task with an arc light. That is just phenomenal. I'm getting like 22 or 23k Slayer. Uh, doesn't include superiors or anything because I, again, I reset it. Um, oops, I think I just missed the glove because I was distracted by talking there. But uh, yeah, it's really, really good, man. 40k Slayer an hour. That's again, all those, all this XP is only going to go up as my uh, melee stats get better. I also just changed my left click to use for the ashes with the uh, menu entry swapper. That way, if I go down and I'm like clicking my bracelet or I'm clicking like a, oops, I just missed the bracelet right there. Literally talking about it. Uh, but okay, man, I'm missing all these bracelets. Oh man. Anyways, that way I don't misclick and like waste an ash. You know, I'm not going to like accidentally scatter it. Uh, so I can get the full prey XP that I want to get out of it. Oh, there's the task over my first neck reel task complete. And, uh, I don't exactly know how much prey XP I got. I guess 178 times whatever the ashes give times three. Uh, I, I don't know that exact math right now, but Look at all these seeds, man. And I banked a couple times. Also the alkables. So in total, it says I got 92 K GP. Plus I got three rune 2H and three rune full helms, which uh, I think that's like 120 K there. 
uh what is that like that's like 60 that's like 180k plus 90k it's like 270k plus some blood runes um plus the total amount of seeds i got which i'll put on screen right now uh it was 14 plus so 21 uh 27 28 29 30 41 seeds in 178 neck reels so probably over 50 seeds like every task or close to 50 seeds every task once i actually have them extended which i do now uh with using the slaughter bracelets as well oh man it's just so nice and how many charges did i use i think i had like 9500 uh he's about 1200 for 178 so probably around 2000 for an actual extended task with slaughters uh yeah really 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 happy that i finally get to kill some neck reels dude okay also another thing to remember here is after you finish a neck reel task the best thing for you to do uh as a, as a iron man this is is to go and get yourself a turial task real quick that way neck reels are back onto your list of tasks that you can get assigned if you do a quick skip task like this this is where using turial comes in handy you grab a task here let's see i get skeletons i'll go kill the skeletons real quick and then as soon as those die or as soon as this task is over I can get assigned neck reels again, potentially, by Duradel. Skeletons have been slain, and I think a good habit for me to build so I don't end up wasting these uh, house teleports like hotcakes is to always switch back to the normal spellbook after a task. Even if I might get another task, I can use runes to teleport to my house and switch back, but I have to waste a house tab if I don't switch to normal spellbook uh, every time. Uh, so it's probably a, in my best interest to do that. Dude, I also can't wait to be 82 Herblore. Once I get a couple more Necreal tasks, I'll have enough seeds stocked up that I can probably start doing uh, a mixture of thieving and uh, a mixture of obviously planting all those seeds so I can get myself 82 and have the gloves to get to Duradel a little quicker. Dude, I'm just excited, man. Today's a great day. This is still the same day that I got the Skatizo pet. And we get Dust Devils. Let's go. Now, today's the 15th, and Leagues comes out, some, out on the 19th, and uh, there's a chance I'm doing an uncapped subathon. Maybe not right when the League starts. I'm still debating that. But there are some things I need to do IRL uh, before that happens. So I'm going to save that Dust Devil task for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and go AFK some range while I leave the house and go pick up some stuff that I've been meaning to do that I've just kind of been putting off because... I don't know, I guess I just have... Look at those two barrels gloves, man. It looks so stupid having two barrels gloves. God, oh, man. Alfie wanted 2,000 snape grass. I've been growing them a ton, so uh, I'm going to go throw, chuck those in and uh, grab out 10k chaos runes because he also chucked those in for me. Good exchange. Before I go out and do that IRL stuff, Alfie actually uh, just tanned all the hides he had from Slayer. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and craft all these as... Uh, he wants them to Alk, so we get to make a bunch of bodies and get some free crafting XP. And this is the last inventory. Alfie basically hooked me up with a little bit over 100,000 crafting XP. As you can see there, 102.7k, 102.9k. That was basically uh, really fast as well, over 300k an hour, and that was with me having to go buy some uh, threads and also not really paying super close attention. Uh, I know I had at least one of these, so there we go. That goes to Alfie. And if we look at the price that it all alks for, that's going to end up giving Alfie a good, like, what, three mil, basically. Uh, that's pretty nice for Alfie, and uh, I'll take the craft XP, man. Your band played with Wage War right, right before they blew up? Really? That's sick. Oh, I missed 83 strength, dude. Missing 83 strength and 105 combat, as I do. Call me devious the way I miss these levels, dude. I believe as soon as I cast this right here, 73 prayer. Very nice. Another prayer level, we always love that. And right there, 81 Slayer. That was the last clip I had recorded for the group Iron Man, but Leagues comes out tomorrow if you're watching this the day of the upload. I'm recording it past midnight on the 18th, meaning it's like a day and a few hours until Leagues comes out. I am going to be playing the Shattered Relic League, but I'm not putting this account on the sidelines. I am going to be also AFKing this account, either doing Karambwans or Blood Rune Crafting. I'm going to try to do Blood Rune Crafting as much as I can. And if I get really invested into the League, I might even get like super close to 99. We'll see. Um, but I think the plan right now is at least the first few days to go pretty hard on Leagues. Um, it's so fun, man. If you guys haven't played it before, you really got to try it out. Uh, but I don't know how much I'm going to like this League. If I like it a lot, I'll keep playing it for a while. Um, while, you know, doing something on this account on the side. If I don't like it that much, but I'm kind of enjoying it, I'll probably try to get to a point where I can AFK on the league and focus on this account. And then if I don't enjoy it at all, uh, I'll probably play for the first few days to a week, and then we'll be back to making progress on here. We're still going to be making progress on here no matter what, whether it's AFK or active training. Uh, but thank you all so much for continuing to watch the videos and enjoy the group Ironman progress. If you guys haven't checked out the rest of my team, obviously links in the description there. 
And if you haven't checked out my stream, uh, I'm gonna be streaming a ton of leagues. So go over there and watch that. Plus, I also have a new computer coming. And once that's all set up, I am planning an uncapped subathon, which basically means that um, when people subscribe or cheer or uh, donate, it adds time to the stream. Could end up being a uh, one day stream. It could end up being a one month stream. Who knows? That's something to look forward to as well. So if you want to know more info about that, hop over to my stream on Twitch. And thank you guys again so much. Appreciate you all. Have a good rest of your day and take care.